everyone, it's DEJ and this is my April wrap up. So April was a really, really good reading month for me. Um, I read a total of nine books and I participated in a readathon and I was really, really happy with my progress and everything. So I'm really, really excited about what I did for the month of April and I cannot wait to continue that in the month of May. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So I finished up my three library books that I still had out um, from Borrowathon, and that was The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, and The Book Thief by Marcus Susak. And then I also watched The Book Thief, um, and it was a really good movie, and I was really, I was pleasantly surprised with it. And then I read A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I actually started it in March, um, yeah, in March, but I finished it in April and I really, 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 really liked it. So, um, enough that I got the second one, um, A Court of Mist and Fury. I started reading that one, um, I'm kind of taking that one kind of slow, um, and then I also have the third one because it just came out and yeah so I'm really really excited about that. And then I read Lady Renegades by Rachel Hawkins, the third and final book in the Rebel Bell trilogy and I really enjoyed it. I, I liked the close of it. Um, I like finishing stories and finishing series and trilogies. Um, so that way I'm not left anything. Um, so I was really happy with the ending of this one. Um, it was interesting. So that I'm going to leave it at that. And yeah, so I, but I did really like it. I like that it was purple. Um, so yeah, I, I really did enjoy this one. And then I read The Fill in Boyfriend by Casey West. I really enjoy Casey West's writing. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was really interesting and I really liked the concept of it. And then I read Hanging On To Max by Margaret Beecher. I wasn't a big fan of this one. Um, I kind of picked it up on a whim. I read it in like a night and a, like a night and a few hours. Um, it was okay. I was the ending was good. I liked it up until a certain point and then at that point I was like, what? What is going on? And then the ending was okay. I was just, I wasn't a big fan of it. I thought it was okay. It was a quick read. It was only 204 something pages. So, yeah. And then I participated in the um, Duo Decathlon. And I finished my challenges in three days, which I was like, what? How did I do this? Um, so yeah, I read a graphic novel, which was Pride and Prejudice, the graphic novel by Jane Austen. Oh, I love this story so much. It's one of my favorite stories ever. So I was really, really glad to actually like read it and see it and everything. And yeah, so I really, really liked this one. And then I read Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I read this in two days. That was how fast it took me to read it and I absolutely loved it. I really want to continue the rest of the story. Um, I just, oh, I loved the setting and the characters and I thought it was a great plot. I, I mean like a little bit of everything happened in it and I totally understand Anna's perspective because I did a study abroad when I was in college so it was really interesting to see like that perspective of it and just to kind of hear that side so that was my April wrap up definitely um, watch my May TBR it's a really fun month for reading so nine books 
I'm really, really happy. Um, yeah. So, until next time, happy reading. Bye.